Hops are a really important part of beer. So hops provide a preserving factor, they help make your beer last longer. Also hops add bitterness which will offset the, the malt sweetness and make for a really balanced beer. Hops also add a, a really floral uh, and awesome flavour and aroma to a beer. The bitterness in our recipe today has already been added by the, the kit manufacturer. Through that process there's no real hop character in terms of aroma or flavour coming through. So we're going to have to introduce that. We're going to add in this hop character through uh, what's known as wet hopping. So we're going to take some hops, we're going to put them in a bag and we're going to soak them in hot water for a while and then tip that into the fermenter. So we're doing this after a beer's finished fermenting but still in the fermenter. The reason for this is that when beer is actively fermenting and CO2 is bubbling through, it can strip out a lot of the delicate uh, hops aromas and flavours. So we want to do that after fermentation. So there's a couple of things we need to do to set this up. So we need to get some hops, so we're using pelleted cascade hops here today. We're using 2 ounces or 60 grams. The hops is really fresh and green, it's got this great smell about it. We've also got some muslin wrap which will uh, stop the hops ending up in our beer. So we want it in a bag when we add it to the fermenter. So to start off with, we've cleaned down our area here. We've sanitised it with spray, so everything's clean here we've got a great starting point. We've got a, a small pot. We're going to bring this to the boil with half a gallon or two litres of, of water. While that's coming to the boil, we're going to create a hot pouch. This is really simple. So all we need to do is, is get some muslin wrap. We're getting a, a little bit over a foot square, so around 40 centimetres, something like that. So we've washed this and we've cleaned it to make sure there's no soap residues in it. We're taking a, a clean and sanitised plate and cup. We're creating a little pocket for the hops to sit. And in the cup, we just drop our hops. We create a little bundle and tie it up with some string and then we drop it into our boiling water. We turn this off because we don't want any more bitterness out of the hops, we just want the flavour and aroma. So while that's soaking for 10 minutes, what we'll do is spray down our, our fermenter to make it sanitary as well. And all we do now is tip that in the beer. You're dealing with hot liquids, so obviously be careful, but just simply tip this into your fermenter now, seal it up again. This will soak in the hot flavour and aroma through the beer let it soak for three days and then bottle it or keg it as you normally would. 